How's it going guys, A Dragon Star Production here, back with another What If video. This one will be a rather short What If, and it does seem pretty cool, but I present to you nonetheless, What If Vegeta was the first ever Super Saiyan God. And I won't waste no time in giving an introduction, instead we will be jumping straight into the video intro. Alright guys, so although this what if seems rather badass, I don't believe it would actually change much of anything in the story besides Battle of Gods and a slight change to Resurrection F. In this timeline, instead of Goku, Vegeta is the one to step in to become the Super Saiyan God. And his reasoning is because of the humiliation that his family has been put through because of Beerus from King Vegeta and then to Beerus slapping his Bulma. Vegeta would have a reason to fight Beerus and could use his anger to the advantage. And Piccolo, if I'm not wrong, in either the anime or the Battle of Gods movie, he even states that Vegeta surpassed Goku when Beerus slapped Bulma. And knowing that Goku had Super Saiyan 3, this says a lot about Vegeta's power and that he was the strongest one there, especially if somehow this anger rubbed off on Vegeta. So, Vegeta becomes the Super Saiyan God after convincing Goku, thanks to the ritual, and all that happens. And, Vegeta and Beerus would clash for a while. Vegeta, I believe, here would be doing better than Goku because of his rage. Beerus would be forced to use a bit more of his power, and yes, I do mean a tiny bit more. Vegeta shoots off a final flash, but Beerus dodges the blast by simply smacking it away, as Vegeta, though, is falling due to exerting way too much energy. But as he fights, it's almost like Vegeta doesn't notice that he has fell from Super Saiyan God back to regular old Super Saiyan. However, Beerus would then throw his destruction ball, getting tired of the fight, towards planet Earth and Vegeta. But Vegeta, using all of his might, he manages to kick the ball away as he falls back to his base form. Beerus would then catch Vegeta and bring him back down to Earth because he is pretty impressed by Vegeta and actually doesn't blow up the planet. But... All while the fight was happening, Goku was happened to be on the ground and talking to Whis, trying to bribe him with food, sundaes, noodles, anything that he could use to basically get Whis to train him. This actually works like a charm, and then Whis gives Goku this slight advantage for a bit because, well, Whis is training him for the six months like he did Vegeta. But because Vegeta would then recognize that Goku's not being there, he would figure out this sooner so you could argue that it wasn't even six months. That being said, we would have a stronger Vegeta and Goku to fight in Resurrection F, but all I could say that would change is it's possible that Vegeta and Goku would not have to worry about Frieza. They would be able to defeat him much faster and not have to wait for his stamina to drain because they would already be as strong or at least stronger than Frieza to where that wouldn't be an issue. But that being said, the video really doesn't doesn't change much. Vegeta becoming the Super Saiyan God first, honestly just going to be super all over again. Maybe Vegeta will get some more highlights, but overall, there's still going to be no effect in Dragon Ball Super with this happening. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick what if. I'll catch you guys in the next one, so make sure that you follow us on Twitter to find out what that could be and join the Discord so you could also find out what the next what if could be. That being said, this has been Dragon Star Productions, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I am Lord Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, and I advise you to like this video and subscribe to Dragon Star Productions, or you'll force me to use 100% of my power. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But that won't be necessary because you've already hit the bell for all alerts and notifications. Oh, ho, ho, ho.